Hello everyone, Raven of the Retro Dev here, and welcome to my BBS tutorial series. In this tutorial, uh, we're just going to take a look at some general stuff that exists, like door games and so forth. I did another video on just door games, and um, it's too short, like kind of a waste of time, really. So let's go ahead and take a look at some stuff. So first things first, if you want to know how to quit the BBS, uh, that's relatively easy. You can do G for goodbye, which gives you a, another menu and a prompt. And we're just going to hit no because we don't want to leave. Uh, you can also send a comment to the sysop. We'll, we'll cover that in a second. Um, and you can also do a forward slash G, which is goodbye fast. Now, this leads me to some other stuff here. Uh, so first things first, you can check who's online by doing a forward slash W. And you'll see I am in node one and someone named Hog Mecca is in node two. And then you can hit enter and you get the next set of uh, connections. There's 32. There's a reason we don't have all the nodes turned on because that part takes forever. Uh, you can do forward slash P and you can uh, basically, you can uh, put a question mark there and it'll give you uh, a list or you can type list, I believe. Um, no? That user is marked as unavailable. Okay, well that's fair. I wasn't really wanting to anyway. Anyhow, um, we don't we don't need to page anyone. Um, so the other thing is there's forward slash in which brings you into the node chat. I'm gonna cover this one on its own video because there is a bit involved in that. You can also do forward slash s, and much like before, basically it allows you to send whatever node a message if you know the person that is on the node. Um, the other thing you can do is you can page the sysop. If they happen to be on, they'll get the message. Um, and you can put in like why you would want to talk to them and so forth. We're not going to do that because it'll like it kind of waits for the sysop to respond if they're online. Uh, actually, let's just see what happens. Yeah, it's paging the sysop. So now, of course, you know, we have to wait. You know, there is no sysop online, so it's not going to be able to do anything here. So there we go. Would you like, to, and then it'll give you an option to send an email uh, if you would like. This is how you would like get a hold of a system operator if like you had a problem with an account or a user, or maybe there was a, the game was broken or something like that. No, I don't want to send an email. Uh, the other option, of course, is you can send a comment, and it'll send a comment to me since it's triggered to send a comment to my account. Um, and I don't want to do that either. But basically, actually, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, test comment to sys. And then you can put in all the different stuff. And I'm going to cover a different tutorial on how to actually, uh, you know, send a message. That'll be a whole separate thing. But I just want to cover, we don't want that. All right, so we already sent it. That'll be a whole separate thing. Um, so the other thing is S opens up the system bulletins, which we don't really need. Uh, B opens up BB. S listings, uh, which we just want to view. The House of Lunduke was added. I have no idea who added that one, by the way. Or Dark Systems BBS. Um, no idea who added either one of those. And we'll just hit Q there to quit. The other thing, of course, is your account settings, which you can use to change your personal account stuff. Uh, you know, don't really need to do it unless you just, uh, you know, you need to for some reason. Um, and then of course the message menu should have went in order, but I really didn't, uh, the message menu. This is, so this is where you would send, uh, either emails because BBS offers emails. I don't believe we have that set up, but it is an option and you'll get emails straight to your BBS account. Um, cause that's in the early days, that is literally how people, that's how they got emails. Um, you know, BBS has facilitated that and you could send emails to other users and so forth as well as, I believe, to other BBSs. Um, so pretty neat. Um, it also has the form group. So if we open up the index here, uh, actually, we don't need that right yet because we don't really have anything there. But if you hit area change, which is A, you can see these are all the different uh, areas that exist. As of right now, if we just, if we just hit enter here, we are in general messages, um, which is the default. Uh, but there are basic, think of them like a traditional forum. So general message is one form, gaming is another, retro text is another, Linux is another, off topics another. 
Uh, six is for door games and so forth. And um, you can also join a group. Uh, that's not set up yet, but as the BBS gets bigger, I'll allow different groups. This means that if you join groups, you could have your own private message boards and all sorts of stuff. The other thing you can do is you can hit R to read all new messages. And you can do all kinds of stuff like forward a message, search for new messages, uh, only ones by you, uh, your forum posts. You can search for a specific one if you can remember. You can also just hit enter and it'll just display all of them. And then you hit one and you can see that in the message listing I have posted on my other account, my sysop account. Um, basically, it's the rule listing and the rules and, you know, relatively straightforward. It's just the rules. Um, you can also hit P to post a message, and this will allow it to go to all, but you can send it to just a certain group of individuals if you like. Um, again, we're going to cover all of this later. You can put your subject here. We're not going to. Uh, you can also do a new message scan of, like, say, all the groups and then this will pull it up. Uh, typically, read messages will do that. Uh, but if it doesn't, you can go to new message. Or you can just hit K. And that will, you know, read everything. And it'll display, you know, all the different messages. Email is private, by the way. It's tied to the person. Um, so in order to pull up your email, you can hit C to check your email. And there you go. You have... You know your email and you can pull this back up and there's your sysop email from before and you can escape again to go back escape is pretty much how you get out of a certain those types of menus you can hit w to write an email and you just have to know the the name of the user and then you hit yes and then you want to send a private message i'm not going to add a subject um and like i said you know i don't want this to be too long there's going to be a whole in-depth tutorial on that i'm going to hit q to get out of that for file areas, uh, this is where you can upload and download files. I'm going to get out of that. Um, if you hit L, you get the last 10 callers. So this is all the different people who have called in recently. Hog, Mecca, whoever you are, welcome very much. Um, you can also do U to get the user listing. Hit Enter, which will give you all of them. And you can, oops, sorry, hit a key there. Uh, any key action will pop you out. And it gives you all the different users and everybody who's connected or created an account and so forth. And we already covered the BBS listing. We also have the one-liners, which you can add to. It'll ask you every time you join. If you want to add to the one-liners, you can leave messages and stuff here. Occasionally, it'll get cleared out and so forth. Uh, you can also hit shift so you can for the at symbol and you can see how active it is and due to the fact that i'm developing this and believe me it's a lot of signing in and out uh, there's a lot of calls and it's mostly just me um and the time bank is this is where you can bank your time so uh new accounts only have 120 minutes per day um if you join for a while, I haven't really decided how long, but if you're if you join and you call in a lot and you're more of an active user, um, I will bump you up to a uh, you know a bit more of an active user account, and that will give you significantly more time, and uh, it literally doubles the amount of time, so it's four hours a day. And later on, there might be more. I haven't really decided on that part yet. Uh, may just do away with the time thing completely. Not really sure. But for right now, it's 120 minutes, which is a fair bit. Although, if you play some of those door games, trust me, uh, 120 minutes will go like snapping your fingers. Okay, so that's this quick rundown on uh, the BBS. I'm not really sure what I'm actually going to call this tutorial, but... Um, that's just a, like I said, just a really quick rundown on, you know, the overall general usage of the BBS. And there will be others after this, in particular for the message menu, the file area, uh, door games are fairly self-explanatory because all the doors have their own instructions. Um, and that'll pretty much be it. Uh, and of course, for no chat, anything else specific, I'm sure there'll be several over the years as I continuously add and change things. Okay, so. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a lovely day, night, morning, whatever time it is when you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next one.